Look at this. Thank you guys. How cool is this? So we're at the Wildlife Way Station. We're uh, checking out the duck pond, which is a little murky, tint of greenish brown to it but I think a lot of that is due to just the massive amount of rains that we've had as you can see there's runoff and the rivers running and everything's going on so the idea is we're gonna put this in where the pump is and it's gonna send it up into the wetlands so it kind of seeds the bottom I put a little splash in there now into the bottom of the wetland let that start to seed down in there we got a bunch of string algae growing in here right now, but the water's clear. We'll see how the string algae does in a, another week or two after putting a bunch of bacteria in there like we just did. We'll, we'll let the bacteria do its thing over the next couple weeks and check back in in it. If this springtime, by the time the heat comes and we're getting a lot of string algae, we'll just drop an eye on Jen in there and see how that does. I haven't even seen Martine's pond since we've kind of been out of here and it's been running for maybe two months now. Let's go see what it looks like. We're in the Amazon, look at this, but we're in LA, believe it or not. This is all the rain from the last runoff. We're gonna have uh, two to three inches tomorrow, so it should be kind of interesting. When we first came here, right when you walked in these stairs to come see the pond, you could not hear anything other than this external pump just blaring, trying to push water through this. So you can hear that, obviously, that's not very natural. Now all that stuff is gone. All you hear is the animals and the waterfall as you walk in, it's pretty cool. See the fish in the bottom of the pond? The water's pretty clear, it's kind of tea bag colorish, but that's due to all the water and runoff that we had from the rain. And we are in the middle of winter, so some of the plants, and we've had super, super cold temperatures. I think it's gotten down to 30 degrees. But as you can see, look at the water, it's clear. Fish are happy. Those same koi fish, you remember where those were? That. That used to be their home, now their home. Natural habitat. Look at it. They're coming to say thank you. Happy Chad, happy Koi. Oh wow, look, I see California waterscapes already. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Thank you guys. How cool is this? That is awesome. filter here that's going to be completely leveled off. It's going to have water that's going to be flowing through it and then going in here into the alligator pen. Nothing can be done by one person. It takes a village to raise. It takes all the people to help these animals thrive. Awesome. They, you can see them. We we're just admiring their new home. Big one, it's a little hard. Do not eat fish. We're going to Castaways. I haven't been there in like three months. Restaurant up in Burbank. Killer water feature out in front. Okay, let's go check it out. Okay, we are here at the Wildlife Waste here in Burbank. For <laughs> Castaways. Okay, we are here at Castaways, just like the Wildlife Waste Station. The plants are a little rough around the edges. It's been freezing cold at night, literally freezing. We're gonna make a little punch list, come back this springtime, get things uh, dressed up with a little baby tear and some mosses and things like that. So enough of me talking. I'm gonna go over here and pull some weeds around here. 
You guys check out the pond. We're gonna get the drone up in the air so we can get some bird's eye views. All right, thank you for watching our vlog. We are back, like I said. We're gonna have some pretty good drone footage. Hopefully that comes out. I haven't seen it yet. I was just kind of uh, looking out for palm trees. But we got all kinds of really cool stuff coming up in 2019. Killer projects. We're working on some stuff in Malibu coming up just tomorrow. So you're gonna see that coming up on the next vlog. Um, but yeah, we're signing out from here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can follow along and see all the cool projects we do.